So, how's everyone enjoying the end of the world? Me? I'm looking forward to it. I've been hoarding popcorn in an underground vault. I keep it in cloth sacks on top of the dead bodies. I figure if someone discovers my one dirty little secret, they're not going to assume that there's another one hidden right underneath. That, my friends, is called psychology. Yeah, but I figure we're going to have fun with it, you know? People, humans, earthlings, what have you. We love this shit. We love this shit. How else to explain all the movies? Every year, every month sometimes, there's a new movie coming out about some variation of the end of the world. This is our kink. I figure, I figure that, you know, 20 years or so when it's getting really good, I'll just set up my sofa right in front of the window view all across the city and I'll have my my future children there and we'll all be eating like this really old popcorn and and I just tell them like watch watch over there over there there'll be this one guy running screaming on fire for some reason over there there's some lady chewing, gnawing away on some old human bone for the last bits of bone marrow. And I'll tell my kids, watch, this is the best bit. This is the bit where the hero comes and saves us. Okay, fine. Um, I'll level with you. The world is is going to shit and I'm scared. It's not a joke. I'm, I'm actually scared. And I, I think we've got to find out how to cope with this. However we can, because there's no point in not coping. Okay. So I think about this a lot. This is what I've come up with. I see myself freaking out about the end of the world. Uh, I see myself just so sure, so sure about the stories I have in my mind. Like, yeah, the world is so ending. I'm so certain about that. I consider like, what if I'm just an idiot? I tell myself, Ruby, you are one of the 65% of people who think they're smarter than average. 2,000 years ago, Paul the Apostle is on record thinking that the world would end in his lifetime. So I tell myself, look, throughout history, people have thought that the world would end in some fiery explosion. And all that happened was they died of cholera and plague got cut down in battle, was sold at the age of 13 to some strange man and forcibly impregnated. But you know, it happened one by one, not all at once. Isn't that comforting? <sighs> you know, I just, I despair, okay, I despair when I see people just freaking out, being like, oh my god, we're all gonna die in 30 to 50 years. I'm like, how did you think it was gonna work? <sighs> yeah. Okay. No more jokes now. I'm going to get real serious with you guys right now, okay? We've got to cope how we can. And I think this is the mindset to have. Sure, the world is ending. But 
in some ways, we live in the most unique moment in history that there's ever been. There's some kind of glorious chaos right now where we're more empowered than we've ever been. There's just, there's so much popcorn in the world right now. <laughs> and yeah, I know, I know, okay, I know that we are depleting the soil of all the popcorn nutrients and and we're killing off all the wild popcorn beasts and all the future popcorn beasts are going to have to be raised in horrifying factory farm conditions where they don't even have room to move their cute little cobs. Even so, there is just so much popcorn in the world right now that not even the rich can keep it from us all. What we've got to do, what we've got to do is reach out, grab that popcorn, shove it in our mouths, and say, we are going to make a change. Thanks for listening.